Hello Space Engineers, Wellington6012 here. I'm going to have to wave like that because the remote's not working. Uh, welcome back to Special Delivery. How is everybody doing? Hope you are good. So you find... Well, no, you don't find me where you left me last time. You, you find me very much not where you left me last time. So let's get into it and explain things. And yeah, lots to, lots to talk about actually. So... Let's just, uh, first of all, we'll have a look at, uh, no we won't, we'll, first of all we'll park this up, I did put a uh, connector inside here, so yeah, quite a bit to do today, now, when we finished last time, I was getting some uranium, so we're just, just still chucking through that, I think the refineries, uh, one, of, one of them is, uh, the yield, the yield one, and let's just park this, Down. there we go okay um yeah so i have done quite a bit of why 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 are you still on hmm, sorry stand by i just actually fixed these earlier okay still on why are you on offset spotlight oh look you're on as well okay let's just disconnect again lights what was it called offset spotlight they are all on six of them What's going on? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five of those, and then one, two, those. So seven in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and they are all on. And have I got the timer set up wrong? Oh, I think I know what I did. Yeah, okay. So, ah, uh, yeah, okay, that's right. Let's just, yeah, because I, because they weren't on before, so I put a group in, and clearly that was the wrong thing to do. Well, no, it was the right thing to do, but the original thing was the wrong. Anyway, so now, okay, now they're all off. Gosh, okay. Ten minutes in, and we're no further right okay so uh i've done a fair bit off camera mainly with that uh I also just before i started today just started to put in a little bit of detailing stuff so i think that's quite nice this is the number one jump drive and that is the number two jump drive hopefully we'll get a three and a four that's uh that's a bit of a plan um i did some work in here so we're all we're already mining so if you look at the gold we've already got quite a bit of gold and that is one massive gold deposit that's humongous so that's good that's going to give us lots of gold uh and then i've put some screens in here so we've got the ore summary so when we're up here doing stuff with our you know our thing we don't have to look over there even though just when i talked about gold i looked over there because i forgot that this was here <laughs> Um, so yeah, we got a little bit of gold there, and still lots of ice. So this is just a duplicate of the screen that was over there, and our, um, our thingamabob here. Has this got something else in it? It's also got, so it's got stone, and then it's got gold, and it must also have some silicon somewhere. How are we off for silicon? We are pretty good for silicon. I don't think we need to worry about silicon. Okay, but it's good to know there is some here. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I put in this uh, here. So this has just got the drill guide on off, so we can do that. And the stone ejector on and off, which we'll just make sure that that's on. And an indicator would have been good, but anyway. Um, hmm. And then this is a duplicate of that little setup over there. So you can see we've got plenty of power at the moment because I had them on charge for quite a while before. And uh, yeah, so that's that's that. Right. 
did make some lists of stuff yesterday. So actually, sorry, just before we go on. When I finished the last episode, I did the uranium and that, that was pretty much it. Um, I said that I wasn't sure when I was going to be back next. So I am continuing on from where I left off. I uh, haven't gone back into Escape in the Desert. I decided that I would do another episode of this. So this is probably two or three weeks before this actually publishes. Uh, and yeah, that way, if we just talk about what the plan is for today, first of all, jump across steel. I mean, yeah, okay, I remember, I remember all that. Um, the plan for today is to get some gold, hopefully build a couple more jump drives, or at least get them started. And I've repaired this, so we'll get that to Charlie, not Charlie, the orbital station. And I want to extend this out, that way I can put the VTOL thrusters in here, whether the VTOLs go in today or not, I'm not sure. But I can extend this out, there's some stuff I want to do underneath. Uh, in regards to putting an airlock in and probably an external first aid station and hopefully sort of start to close this in and pressurize it so yeah I, I decided to come back into it today because I just feel like I'm halfway through something or a lot of the way through something and it would just be good to get a lot of that stuff knocked off get to the orbital station and then the orbital station will be a good line in the sand that I can put my clone to bed for a few weeks and then when I come back into it I don't have to remember what I'm getting up to you know I'll be uh, essentially starting a new chapter so so that, that's the idea here we just want to finish off this chapter and move on um, and well actually not move on put my clone to bed and <laughs> not move on um, yeah so in regards to completing this I talked about it last time this was just a random random encounter a random random encounter um, that I selected looked pretty cool uh, if I knew then what I know now I probably would not have selected this random encounter to repair and take back uh, yeah I had to use the the um, the, uh, the the blueprint the blueprint by who was it by it was by Jurelix or something something like that Krulix 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 that's right um, yeah so I used that so I have included in the last episode I included that blueprint location and I've also added it to the guide that's with the scenario on the Steam Workshop and I've also added it to the collection of uh, blueprints that's on the workshop as well so uh, that way if you want it need it you can find it so that's that in regards to finishing it off as I say I decided against finishing it off because that would have just taken a whole lot of extra time really for no benefit other than to say that I've done it so I'm pretty happy in my own um, with my own conscience that I've done what I need to do so everything has been repaired everything has got all the components in it with the following exceptions none well okay it's a bad one to look at that's a bad one to look at <laughs> none none of the ion thrusters have thruster components apart from the ones that already had them okay so that's pretty much the build state of all of them i don't have time to mine and refine gold just for the sake of building those so i know i can i could it's just a time factor so you don't need to see me do that and I'm not going to go in creative mode and say that I did it when I didn't do it. Um, but that's that. The same with the jump drive. If I'm going to build jump drives, I'm going to build them on this. You know, it's going to be a struggle getting two built on there. So, again, just so much resource that um, no, I just feel that it's just not a good use of my time in regards to the series. So, I've only put only put steel plate in this so it's missing a whole lot of stuff then if we go inside the gravity gen is missing gravity components that is complete and it's connected now it wasn't last time i used it um if we come through here you know this is complete i mean that that's a lot of resources gone into getting that refinery built 
Uh, and these two batteries here are also I've done. So again, and there's another one somewhere else that I did as well. So there was like three or four batteries that I put in. But I didn't have to, but I did. And the gyro as well. So again, a lot of resource gone into the gyro. So, you know, as I say, my conscience is absolutely fine with what I've done to this, what I've put into it, and what I still have left to do. So I'm happy with that. Right. So, yeah. So we've just got to drag that over to station the orbital station and do that uh while we parked up here i'm going to extend this and yeah so what i need to do is i need to grab some parts for a magnetic plate and some armor okay so yeah, I just really want to take the time between here and the orbital station to kind of get a lot of this finished and uh, yeah, and then when we get to the orbital station, it'll be getting it ready for a planetary landing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Those are half blocks, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, so we go off the front here and yep, that's absolutely sufficient. So currently this is a station, same with the RS-1217. I made them stations while I was here just to help a bit with the old lag and CPU performance and all that sort of carry on um, we could probably put the thing on here so so I'm just gonna because I'm gonna do some uh, piston madness um, I just want to make sure that I'm looking for that that I'm attached <laughs> Let's not have a repeat of the last time we did that. So we could probably... Like that, and like that. Is that going to be about the right spot? No, it needs to be a little bit lower. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Okay, what about if I went like that, and like that, and we like that. Got rid of those. Then that was a bit more of a guide. So this wants to be kind of about oh, up. Wants to be about there. And then we should <laughs> go me. Right. Uh, let's try and get some sort of connection happening. Where can we do that? We'll just have to go inside, I think. Love those doors. Really love those doors. Uh, right, anywhere will do. So we'll go here and we'll convert to a ship. And we'll do that the same with the RS-1217. Which is unlocked. Why are you unlocked? Hmm. Must have been when I was doing something to it. Okay, so that's cool. Right, so we should should be able to move now. Okay, so now I need to slice this open. My only thought is, am I going to extend it by one block or two? I think one will suffice. Hmm. Okay, so... First of all, before I start chopping it, I'll get some parts for a piston. And I think, I think connectors. I don't think I'm going to do any merging shenanigans. I think the smart thing to do will be to use... Uh, so we'll do it... We'll do it here. will be to use a connector so if we did that there we put a connector here and then we'll have we need a bit of gap so we'll have one two one two 
So we'll have a piston here. And a piston here. And then the connector on there. Okay, I think that is going to work. Just because we need to do our trick. So we know they're temporary. Okay, so that's good. Right, that's fine. We didn't need to weld that up. Uh, steel's fine. We don't need to do the head. Okay, heavy with that. Uh, yeah, let's get him in there. The reason why I want to do this is so that, um, for one thing, everything stays connected in regards to timer blocks and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so that's that's a thing. Okay, so let's just extend that a little bit. So you are now lockable. Ooh. That's interesting. I just discovered something. If I hold down the control, I can do micro amounts. See, I'm going point one. Okay, that's... I'm learning. What if I hold down shift? Lots. Okay. So middle mouse button, I can twist that and change the speed holding the control I can do micro movements and holding the shift I can do fast ones still learning still learning okay um, everybody probably knows that but <laughs> uh, lock okay so that's good so we'll slice it through here that's gonna be good and then I need to push it all out. So you're connected through there and you're connected through there. Okay. Right. This may take some time. Um, I am going to put... So we'll slice through there. I am going to get rid of you. I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm going to put a cargo container in there. Because I need access to be able to dump stuff in there. Okay. So, actually, let's just check in here as well. So, we're fine down here. We're fine down there. We're fine across there. Uh, we're fine up there. And I can't imagine there's anything in here. Apart from some conveyors. So if we just dive down into here. Uh, okay, there's a little bit of stuff there. There's a little bit. But if we take out... Yeah, it's only going to be that, that one there that's going to be the issue. All that's going to be fine. Uh, oh no, no, we, we, we're down here. We're down here. So no, we're, we're good. We are good. Oh, hang on. What's going on? Yeah, I... No, I just ground out the wrong one. So that's that's fine. That is good. Okay, awesome. Let's put you back and not make you purple. Okay, so... Um, yeah, this is going to take some grinding. Um, I think I'm not going to record it. I think I'm just going to... Do a cutscene. <laughs> yep. Because otherwise it's just going to be this. And actually, and actually speaking of which. Um, okay. So here's the thing. If you want to watch me do this. Just watch this. Okay. 
okay so that last 10 seconds just put that on repeat for the next half an hour okay same with welding up if you want to see me weld up this ship so yeah just watch that and get stuff out of there and go back get stuff go back <laughs> that's all i did was just toing and froing um yeah because yeah it took a long time Right, okay, so leave this with me, and uh, yeah, we'll come back when I'm ready to, I won't break free, I'll, um, when it's just about ready to break free, we'll come back and uh, do that, uh, split it up and join it back together. Fantastic, I could get future Wellington to watch, but I don't think I will. Now, that didn't actually take as long as what I thought it would, but uh, it's done now. Now, I did a little bit of trickery here that I think we're all unattached. I think. Yeah, pretty sure. I had to do a sort of a zigzaggy thing because that way I don't have to redo all this stuff. <laughs> uh, I had to temporarily cut that off. Okay, right. So, now, fingers crossed. If we do that, it's easy enough. Okay, this will be the, this will be the moment of truth. Oh, laggy, laggy, laggy. That's done. That's done. Fantastic. Okay, so this one here, we can convert back to a station. Energy low. And this one, we can hopefully push out. Oh, struggle, struggle, struggle. Okay, we might just do that. And yeah, we'll just keep that going. It's not the lightest thing in the world that is pushing <laughs> okay so that's doing that this is good this is real good okay uh, if we just I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll copy that and we'll paste it here ooh gosh that was a bit of a that was a bit of a whoopsie okay but that's alright we're, we're on track we're on track Okay, so what, what I'm thinking is that uh, I'll actually use merge blocks <laughs> instead of the well pads and uh, yeah, get it all lined up and then disconnect that and weld pad it and uh, probably disconnect these things. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea actually. Same with you. So we'll get it all in position and um, yeah, then we'll disconnect. Okay, yeah, okay, I've got, I've got a little bit of a plan in my mind. So that's uh, that's probably enough. Let's just stop it there and stop and stop. Oh, you're just about fully out anyway. Okay, so first of all, how is that looking for distance? Do I need to do it too? No, I think one's enough. I think one's enough. Because remember, we're just really after... Yeah, it's good to extend it a little bit, but really we're just after this sort of space in here, so that's that's fine. I've not seen these windows from that angle before. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, right. Well, just thinking what I probably need to do is... Stand by. Let's just change that colour. We'll see why in a second. Energy critical. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll sort that out. Okay, and if we go, what about here? <laughs> You'll already know what this is for, but I don't. So, ooh. E, 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 er, er, er. Okay. Right. Uh, 
Right, back to uh, business as usual. And, okay, so... Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so we need... Need some parts. We need... One, two, three, four... Five, six. So this is incorrect. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, so we've got a little bit of steel in there. That's that's okay. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, so one. Oh. Two, three. Oh, no, I put it wrong. Okay, let's try that again. Trying to trying to be all smart and uh, it's not working. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Two, three, four. Okay, we need to go a little bit further. Just put you right out. Five. Okay. That should be sufficient. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Ow! Okay. <laughs> Let's grab that. Still not enough. Okay, let's just put you all the way out. And we'll deal with this. something but we won't don't worry about that okay so we're gonna need steel uh, we can do you let's just grab some steel so we can do those other ones okay so let's just put you in there Because I can probably set up the projector. Yeah, I only need to put these ones in and I can set up that projector. I think I've still got the old the old template. For the narrow body. Which, yeah, I'll do that. I don't think I need to worry too much about using the welder ship. I could though. Let's just get the thing back in one piece, shall we? And then we can think about welding stuff up. See, I think it's just going to be just as easy to do it with um, the manned welder. It's only steel. Okay, so that's that. That's that. That. Okay, hold oh, them one more. Very good. Okay, so let's grab some parts for some merge blocks. Okay, 
Okay, how do I want to do this? Okay, we'll first of all turn you off. Okay, uh, that's not correct, is it? No, it's not. So we need to try again. Okay, let's do that again. Know what I did wrong. Good. Now we'll put the merge block in. Okay, so we'll turn you off. Right. Gently does it. We'll bring this back together. I'm pretty happy with that, pretty happy with that, okay, so now we'll disconnect you, okay, we're going to convert you to a station as well. We're going to jump into you. All this is just to be absolutely on the safe side. I don't think this is going to cause me too many issues. But let's not do what we did last time. I've already had my sleep. Don't need any more dream time. Okay. Uh, on. Unlock. Okay. Then, so you're fine, you're fine. Jump into here. So that's that one. Then, last but not least. Okay. Right, so that's good. So we're stations. It's not going to go anywhere. We can get rid of... I don't want to lose all the programming. Okay. I may regret this, but... I'm not going to disable those. Okay, not what I was expecting. I would suggest it is because of these. So... Ugh, okay. Should work once... Oh, no, she's probably not so that. Is it because we're a station? All that effort I went to, and okay, gentle, gentle. Oh, there it went. There it went. No explosions. Fantastic. Okay, so we are back to being. Uh, is this a station or is this? 
It's a station. Okay. Is it just me or is there ice in there? There is ice in there. Why is there ice in there? Hmm. Okay. It's fine. Right. I uh, suppose we should connect you back up just before... Before we forget to. Right. Can park all these back up again. See, it was fine. Absolutely fine. Might actually just leave that ion tug where it is because uh reasons. Gentle, 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 and uh lock. Okay, so you are good. No, that's not the right button. Okay, so that's you under control. Oh, we need to do something about that gravity generator as well. Mm, that's gonna have to be a thing. Uh, so that's that. We could use this projector here. Yeah, that would work. We'll leave you there. We'll hook these back up again so we don't sort of take off somewhere and forget. Yes, those people on there. But oh, success! Success! Come on! Oh. Don't need you anymore. Check how the gold's going as well. Maybe do a quick little burst of that. Uh, you actually we should spin you. Oh, well, that's no, alright. It's fine. Ready, 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 and yeah. Okay, so we are all back good as new, a little bit extended, super fantastic, super awesome. Yeah, okay, so you are connected there. I can get rid of you. Inventory full. Is that right? Okay, so I'm filling these. Okay, so that's that. Get rid of all this stuff. And we'll put the projection in. That's, yeah, that's... That is what it is. We'll just leave that for now. Um... Projection, okay. Okay, so, uh, that one. Okay, it's all the way up there. It's not right. Let's just roll it, I think. Yep. I think that's right. Yep. That's correct. And Is the middle? Is that the middle? I think that is the middle. Yep, and we need to go back one. Which was not that one. That one there, I think. One more. Okay, so now it should be a case of just going through. And we'll remove this up. Oh, 
Okay, well, uh, I think that's pretty good. So this is probably going to take me a little while to weld up. I'll just do it by hand, as I say, and I'll come back when um, when I'm done. All right, that did not take an insignificant amount of time. Uh, that took quite a while to weld all that up. Uh, and yeah, I did some other bits and pieces, but uh, nothing of note. Right. I have been looking and thinking and staring and figuring out where stuff's going and what stuff's happening and what stuff's doing. Uh, and I've come up with, I think, some good options. Right, so first of all, before we get onto that, let's have a look at the gold situation. So I did run the drill for a little while, not a huge amount of time. As you can see, it's got a reasonable depth, but not a huge depth. Um, but just because of the size of the ore deposit, because remember the last one was sort of only that big. Um, you know, we got over 400,000k of gold ore. Now, I, I switched out the uranium that's that's in storage, so both, both these refineries are chugging through. And the gold is at 1.2k ingots. And if we look at the superconductors, they require two gold per superconductor. We need a thousand superconductors. Do we need a thousand? I'm just checking just a thousand. I think we need a thousand for a jump drive. Yes. So therefore, we need. 2,000, 4,000 gold to do two jump drives and that 1,200 gold has come from, I don't know how much but I'm thinking only 40k that's probably probably realistic, 40k so there's probably in amongst all this a lot more gold ingots than we're going to need, which is good it'll be good to be in surplus, bearing in mind that you do need some for the gravity gen as well of course you need 20 of those i've already built the 20 for the next jump drive um but a gravity gen takes only 10 okay so that's 200 gold so that's um uh, well 400 you know it's 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 a fair amount but uh well 200 because we've already done some anywho so the result is we've got enough gold so what I'm actually going to do is I am going to I'm going to stow it. It'll actually get a little bit more when I restow because it will turn on and uh, do its thing. Yeah. So once it gets around, it will uh, restow. So that's good. Okay. So that's that. Now uh, you see these big holes in the floor. I'll come back to that later. And actually there's some holes down here as well, just because I'm not quite sure where things are going. But that's cool, that's fine. Uh, but what I do know is we need to hook up this... Uh, this conveyor. And I was looking at tapping into... there's a conveyor above this block. And there is a... There's a conveyor over there as well, so that they sort of go under underground there. Um, but I'm not going to use those. I'm going to put a conveyor in here, which goes up to here. Now, if we go outside and yeah, so if I go here. That's perfect. Okay, so we want to put a conveyor junction in. I'm going to move this turret back to here. And I'm going to put another one in at the front. So that's the sort of, uh, that's the plan. And yeah, I think it's it's all, it's been, I've got to say, it's been a, a long, tough road. But it is all really starting to come together now. Uh, let's grab some weld pads one two of those so put you there we'll take that one off 
Um, but what I was also thinking was that I could get rid of you and you and you. Okay, because that's going to be where you go. And if I was to put in one of those. That would be the way to go. Cool. And so we'll grab the turret. As soon as I find it. From there. Artillery assault cannon. Cool. And we'll call you number one. And you on, yes, it looks to its thing. Number two. Number two will get moved. And number three. Number four. Number five. And I'm just thinking why not? Why not? Let's let's put some numbers on. Uh, we got parts here, yeah, we've got plenty of parts. So if I was to make that just a really dark I think I could make it even darker than that probably. Yeah. Because now I just want to really, you know, as we're, um, it's a bit like far from home, you know, it was a long journey and even though there was a, an awful lot of journey still to go, uh, the last bit went quite quickly and I think this is the same. You know that even though what are we up to? We're up to episode sixteen. You know, so we've 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 done well. I th there there is definitely more episodes behind us than are in front of us. Uh, and I would even say that um, yeah, I, I don't think there's. I think it's going to go pretty quick. I think it's going to go pretty quick. So that's why I'm sort of parked here because I do need to sort of stop and. Yeah, really get things sort of organised because if I don't do it now, then it'll probably be at the end of the series when it's too late, you know? You know it's just like, oh well, we're already at our destination, so let's not worry about um, doing stuff. Oops. Let's change our colour. Okay, so that's good. And go to there. And just these last few days. I've done big amounts of work and I tell you that that welding that I just did before off camera that took a while I I just pat myself on the back for doing the twirly whirly thing in the last few episodes because that made my life so much easier and I just wish that I had that but you wouldn't I, I, I just think that works that really does um, we'd need to probably move that that one up one but that's that's okay um yeah but so we'll grab the grab the ion ion um tug that was an interesting noise that made when i went out there The other thing I need to oh gosh we're there. <laughs> uh, the other thing I need to do is um, okay that's why the world is blew up. Look at the the hitbox on that. That's crazy. All right, control grind. That's that's why I blew the world up last time. If we 
Sideways, 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 sideways. Ooh, too far, too far, too far, too far. Down, 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 down. A little bit forward, a little bit down, a little bit forward, a little bit down, a little bit forward, a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down. A little bit right, a little bit right, a little bit right. And we are there. Uh, unlock and back out. Awesome. That's good. So I want to make a little dock for this actually underneath. So that's why I left these. Uh, oh, that's all the excess stone. Yeah, I want to make a little dock for this down here and a little access. Uh, because you don't, when this is on the ground, you're not going to need to get it out. So yeah, that's, that's that plan. So we'll come back to that soon. Just oh. Nudge the door. Okay. They just really do work so well, those doors. Um, actually, we'll, we'll dock, shall we? We'll dock for now. It's, <laughs> there's not much attached to the altar connector, but um, it'll get some power, maybe. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that just... Eh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, shall we do what I'm going to do here? Which is... Uh, just there. Is that where I want it? Okay, so that's the middle. Ooh, there's some stuff. Okay, so that one and... That one there. that go like that they will be sufficient I think right I I think this will work don't know for sure but if we go like that one there and one there okay these a little bit of stuff. So this is going to be where I'm going to park the uh, the rovers. So I think there's two rovers. Well, there's three rovers, but there's two small grid rovers, and that's where I'm going to park them. Okay. So I was thinking that I might just. Yeah, I'm going to grab... That... Have I got steel? I'm grab some steel. Okay. So if we went like that, that, that... Might limit us on what we can put here, but... Turn them off auto lock. Okay. So I think that this will work. Okay, so that's that's our parking area for our our um, <sighs> vehicles. Right. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this steel as I run into the door, and I'm going to grab this gravity generator. I'm going to copy that. 
I'm not going to move it with the um, thrustery thing. Why is it so? Oh, it's because of those drills. Okay, we need to go sort them out. Inventory full. Really? Okay, we'll do it in two goes. So I was thinking a good spot would be up on here. I'm going to have to cover it up somehow, but. One steel. Really? How'd that work? That's 21 there. Hmm. It's just had some. Okay, so that's good. Right, we'll just go down and sort out those drills. We can nip through here, go through there, and ow. Find the button. There's the button. No, it must be on the underneath. And there it is. Oh, that's better. Okay, so that's good. Hmm. Sorting out the, the lines there, but that's that's good. Okay, right, so uh, let's grab some parts. So you're all sorted up top now. Let's grab one or two of those. And then a whole lot of those. So we want to put the conveyor there. Conveyor there. And then we're going to want yeah, those, those with a grid around the front. For a little bit of detail, I think. Yeah. One more. One more. And then that, like that. That, like that. One more. Okay, so that's that will be us connected down here, which is good. I also was thinking that potentially, potentially we would have some uh, some vents and stuff come off. Yeah, uh, I didn't do I didn't do these ones. Good and grab a whole lot of parts for those. Energy low. Okay, oh, let's get it from there. Very good, very very good. Okay, that's awesome. So I guess with this over in this corner, rules out we're going to put a medical bay there. So the medical bay is probably going to have to go over over here. Or do I actually just like tuck it in here or something? Because I will have some walkways up there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Because really, I probably want to keep this free to park some vessels. 
whether that even gets repeated potentially that could be a thing so maybe maybe sort of over here is a better spot right we'll, we'll we'll think about that or a mezzanine mezzanine floor that would do the trick uh, and saying that I need to have somewhere to store the miner and the yeah I could still have a mezzanine though yeah that could work that could work okay right so that's good let's check out what's being produced okay so all that's getting produced okay so what I'll do let's get a jump drive underway we need to rejig these things now that I've flown into them several times they serve their purpose initially to give us some structure but I don't think they're gonna stay well at least not right now okay Hmm, do I keep that? No. Uh, what about light like, sci fi? Could do. I think I'll make it darker though. Not that dark, but darker. So that 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 darkness there. And change that back to sci-fi. I don't use the sci-fi armor very often. Oops, and I think I just did it to the jump drive, didn't I? No, I didn't. But I could. No, I did. Hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking that like that. Oh, we need to. Okay, I accidentally pressed J. Uh, we need to do the gravity generator as well. While I think of it, jump, 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 drive. Okay, so this is going to go there, like that. Is that correct? Very good. Okay. Uh, where is our nearest conveyor? That one there, or else. Probably that one there, actually. Let's. Uh, we can. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, we connected into that, but that's not connected into anything. Okay, that's that's a bit of a predicament. We might still need to connect it underneath. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Okay. Um, but for now, let's just go with this. One, two, and that one, and then one, two for the welder. And grab some parts for a welder. Read it. Okay, and that can just tick away in the background. What we'll do is we'll call it call it number two. so that's just gonna it's gonna take a while it will take a while okay, right we'll call this one number three 
Okay, so that's... Got the detectors. Okay, yep. It's good. It's real good. Okay, uh... Two... I, I just think those numbers really add something quite nice to it. Yeah. And yeah, I think that works. In the middle there. Yeah. Okay. They are just ticking away, so that's good. Right, on to the next task. Gosh, we're just doing stuff today. It's awesome. Okay, so let's grab one, two... Three, four. Oh, we need to sort out the crab. So let's do that, and then that, that, and that. And that should work. We'll put something interesting on the other side just to cover it up. Okay, so that's good. Awesome. Yeah, we'll. Put something in there to cover it up. Not quite sure what, but yeah. So the the bolt kid's looking pretty good. Ugh, just readjust myself. Ah, that's better. Uh, right. Okay. So let's let's just put uh, sort this out. So show gravity field range, and let's go into the energy list. Uh, let's get rid of these three because they are stuck. And yeah, let's go over here. So I had a look at these asteroids. We're in a bit of a bit of a patch of them here. After a whole lot of nothing, they all sort of came at once. I think there's silver over there, but we've got silver, uh, and then I sort of stopped looking after that. But this one's got a big hole in it. Oh look, there's some more gold in there. Because this this had a big spike of gold on it. Yeah, uh, I forget what's in this one. Maybe it's ice and iron or something. I think that's what it had. Uh, I thought I saw... Silicon, maybe? Or is that nickel? Mm, not sure. Anyway, uh, we're not chasing after that at the moment. Yeah. Uh, maybe that one had the... Ice and iron. Hmm. Don't know. Oh. Sidetracked. Okay. So right. Okay. So that's that's a better position <laughs> than where it was. Hmm. Okay. Uh, F6. Do that. Go into F9. Not 9. F9. Okay, so width. Oh. Try that again. Okay, so. Width should be right. Height should be right. Depth will need to extend. Oh, okay, it's going to maximum, really. <laughs> okay, well, we might need to put another one in the back. Hmm. Okay, let's just go and have a fly. So yeah, it just comes up to there. Okay, that's, that's fine. Hmm. Okay, put like a mark on there. Yeah. Okay, so that's where that comes up to. I think I remember that. Probably not. Okay. Uh, yeah, width width is okay. Length is fine. Just. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's uh, that's that's a fairly large. It's a fairly large um, gravity field. It's not big enough though. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Turn that off the HUD. Yeah, I'm thinking more and more we need another one of those over there for the other ships. Okay, so the, yeah, okay, but back to our little predicament. Energy low. Uh, how are we going to do this? Need to cover that up with something. So we'll probably put some walkways across here. Yeah, let's just do that, shall we? You are. Why are you not doing anything? Because I turn superconductors off. That's why. Okay, so let's do. and that will just take over. Yep, we'll just leave that to do its thing. I think. Uh, what was I going to... Okay, what's going to... Dump all that. Hmm. Uh, and we'll grab some parts for some of these. So I think I'm back in the situation where I just need to put some stuff in places where I know that it goes. And then sort of I can work from there. So we'll put that... go over the top of the door and then maybe it's a ladder down or something possibly we'll put those in across there maybe not to the bulkhead oh gravity fantastic Do the same over here. Yep, that's where we want it. Cool bananas. Uh, that's good. Yeah, and then whether it's a case of trying to put some stairs in here to get up there. And I would suggest... I would suggest that I've done this wrong and that I need to put, I won't change them now, but I'll swap them over. We need to put rails on the inside as well. So that will go there. And would have to be that way, wouldn't it? That way, that way. I think it's going to work. Okay, 
so that one there. So that will go there, go there, and then that one will go there and there. And then we can put one of these little quite thingies. Like that. In there. Okay, I think that's going to work. Yeah. But young, I have to put a rail along the wall now. Okay, uh, yeah, let me, let me weld all this up. Um, I'm just going to have a bit of a look at some other stuff as well and just sort of plonk some bits and pieces wherever I can. Um, nothing too substantial and. Yeah, I'm just going to have to reassess this uh, conveyor system. I thought I had it all sorted, but maybe not. Right, we're back when we're back. And welcome back. So, uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of time. Uh, let's just spin this round. I've got to say, the even though we have not enough gyros still it does actually turn okay uh, eventually <laughs> all right so let's uh, turn the big thrusters on turn the dampers on there we go I mean these big thrusters just absolutely do the business they really do be pretty quick but we're not going to go that quick we'll uh, just drop back to 30 meters a second my comfortable sort of place and 31 30. I'll do. okay so uh, yeah it's been a little while I had a little bit of a think about stuff I had a coffee and a break and yeah so back into it and I've got a few ideas few ideas I said I was going to change it I think I changed it back because <laughs> uh, that was the wrong thing on the end there I don't know if you realized or not okay so uh, yeah I well, okay that's right we've got room for a conveyor line through here so that's that's where we'll put it um, yeah so let's get a Probably a conveyor. Yep. One of the one of the four-way things. One of those, and then a whole lot of those. Actually, do we need do we need that? We could probably probably keep it airtight. No, no, we can't. Okay, so yeah, it needs to be, it needs to be one of these, just to put in that sort of, uh, break as it were. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine there, we've got something in front of it. Okay, let's put some of these blocks in, so they can go down there. So... So we'll just weld that up and then we'll come back to it. That's a bit annoying. Um, yeah, we don't have any access down here. Oh, okay. Right, so I did have a little bit of a plan. Uh, let's grab some of these. No, some of those. Okay, and we'll put them here. One, two, three. Suffice. Just get rid of the uh, bits and pieces of that. I don't know why they appear on all those things. It's a little bit annoying. I do wish you could sort of have defaults for blocks. Like, you know, 
every locker that I make is not in the terminal, is not on the inventory, and is not on the toolbar config. That would be useful. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's that. Yeah, that, that's okay down there. Uh, yeah, right. So we've got stuff. Oh, and also, uh, it's probably doing other things at the moment, but uh, oh no, it's, it's working through them. So I've made a whole lot of a lot of these, so we might actually end up with enough. So it is processing those. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to make a little bit of an L curve here. So we need to figure out where stuff's going. So the mid, the medical bay. Oops. I'm going to put in there, right in, yeah, in this corner here, I think I've actually got it in this, no, I had it somewhere in here, one of these things had it, maybe not, no, I must have been mistaken, uh, that one, okay, so, great, you so we'll put it in here, I think that's where I have it. Yeah, make it white, like so. So that's good. Have I still got parts? Did I grab too many for the thing? Because it would be good to have one of those there. Okay. And so this is going to have to have a conveyor in here. Okay, just before I change that, let's put one of these in here, like that. I think that'll work. So yeah, this it'll be good to have this in the in the bay. Okay, so that'll go there, and we'll link that up under here, and then we're gonna want those there, and that'll be a T junction. Yeah, so this will need to be. Actually, I'll tell you what, that probably wants to be a conveyor. We'll get rid of that one. And now that I'm looking at it, we could probably do the same down here, to be honest. I'll never finish that one. Put a T junction in there. So we don't need that ugly conveyor end. Uh, so that will go like. That. Okay. And we'll put one of these here to act as a bit of an airlock. Uh, not an airlock, you know, a, 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 a bulkhead type thing to stop stop the air falling out. Okay, so that's good. Green lights, fantastic. Okay, so we'll just put a uh, a welder on there. I think the easiest way. Because boy, those mid bays use a bit of stuff. This the, it's really starting to take shape now. I feel like you know, I mean, there's obviously lots of big voids and stuff, but just just things like this add quite a nice bit of detail and really get my get in the right space for starting to think where other things go. Um, that. That. Okay, so that's good, and it's just chipping away. Very good. Uh, could have actually been... Yeah, let's, let's undo that. Uh, 
because that could have actually been just trying to trying to keep the conveyor count down where I can the um, the junction count. Bearing in mind that this is all unpressurized out here, okay. Which actually means that needs to be a conveyor. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. No, no, that means it doesn't need to be a conveyor. Gosh, what am I thinking? Okay, so that can go like that. Because we're unpressurized. That and like that. Uh, that will need to remain exactly what it was when we started this whole thing. <laughs> uh, welcome to my build style. Because that'll let air up in that gap there otherwise. Okay. We got there. Energy low. Okay, so that's good. Energy is low. Hmm. Is there anything we can do about that? We can recharge. Fantastic. Awesome. So that's a nice little little space in the corner there. Uh, we've got another thing on there once we get around to it. Let's continue with uh, the, the gummy bumps. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, so that's a good little space in there. We'll, we will put a put another what's we call it in the corner there. Okay, this is going to be cool. Medical room. Cool. Okay, so that's awesome. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, yeah, we'll put the things, the, the wheeled vehicles in there. Let's just make sure there's no asteroids in front of us that we're going to crash into. Should we turn this on, see what happens? almost there it's almost there okay right quickly do this so what I was gonna do was yeah get rid of you and you and you so grinding these down for about the third time I want I want this level here in fact hmm. I'll show you what I what I want to do let's just weld that up That's, there we go there we go it's done it's done Oh, good news. I don't think we're going to be able to put the other one in um, because there's a whole <laughs> habitation area in the way. Okay, but let's get sidetracked and just 
do this. Uh, so that's going to be... I know there is no four yet, but there will be. There we go. Uh, one there. Kill, kill. Okay, so it's going to take seven minutes to charge. Yeah, okay, let's just turn that on for five minutes. Take care of our power. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so here we need to, like, put some stuff up. So I think... Yeah, I didn't think about that. Hmm. I mean, would it be too low if I went stayed at this level? I don't think it would. Although that's the level I want to stay at. Okay, right. I'm I'm talking in circles here. I'll I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some steel, probably too much, and I want to put a beam across. So I'm thinking a beam across here, like that, maybe, yeah, like that. And then up on here, hmm, I was going to put interior, an interior deck, but now that I'm here, just sort of wondering if that's the right thing to do, or do I... Do I go for that? Just plain. alternative is this we put that in at this level Hmm, okay, um, not sure. I mean, that's, that's still a pretty good space under here, though, isn't it? I mean, it's three blocks high, really. We've still got that on the front. I think we go with that. Yeah, let's let's just weld it up and see how it looks so I'll get rid of all of this stuff out of here and we a whole lot of new stuff we need to change the color
what I've done. I haven't got it back at the normal thing. So it's going to look a little bit plasticky. <laughs> Energy low. So this will be a good spot for uh, some of the bits and pieces that I'll pick up from down on the planet. So that's that's good. Energy critical. Sorted. So that's how's that looking? Yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. Looks okay from underneath. I'll be able to hang some lights or something off as well. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll stick with it. Um, yeah, leave this with me for a sec. Okay, we'll figure out where to put you a little bit later. That's good, we'll just get to that. Uh, I don't think you need to be there anymore. We can always rebuild you if we need to. Okay, so. Pretty happy with that. That's, uh, that's good. I'll be able to put some lights and stuff in, so that's fine. Uh, what I was thinking was, do we park under here? Perfect. Or do we put a second set of pads there I mean we could okay let, let's bring in let's bring in the welder and the um, the welder and the drill ship and I tell you what I have been practicing this let's give it a go uh, while we're moving let's make sure there's no asteroids <laughs> okay uh, so Dampeners off, start up, push off, dampen to the ship, and then we should be good. And there we go. So if we went up here, because I was thinking either up here or down here and actually move the J class back a little bit, because if it was here, I would probably put a connector in the floor. I think down here is going to be a better option. So the J class needs to move back a little bit. Which I feel like this room, I could even twist it around. Let's just uh, move it back slightly because I mean the, the last thing I'm going to pick up is the big rover. That's what I think. So if we just uh, again dampeners off engines on what's something's so 
I was on fire there. Hmm. Yeah, might need to investigate that. Uh, right. Dampeners off. Uh, dampeners off. Yep. And unlock and just gently auto dampen. off and lock. Off, I said. Oh, that's the wrong button. It's fine. It's set up as number three on that toolbar instead of my traditional number two slot. Okay, so that's... Yeah, they're all off. Okay, so if I was to put a connector in here... one this is the middle yep there'll be another one okay yeah I think that'll work and we'll get again some little bit of warning type stuff twist the other way all of a sudden. Shame it's not like a triangle. But there's not. I think that's alright though, that works. Okay. And let's just go for the grey and we'll put some numbers on. So we'll do that. So we'll go, we'll call this dock uh, three. Ugh. Was right. Come on. Okay, try that again. Three. And we'll call this one four. So this will be connector, cargo, bay, dock, three. Oh, and we'll change this to... This will be dot four. Good. Uh, might just 
make them a little bit darker or even yellow yellow would probably be better cool okay that's that's good uh yeah i think i think we're getting there so let's just slide this over Oop. okay that's annoying oh gosh <laughs> Again, all these things that I should have done sooner, and I'm only just finally getting around to it now. So we'll turn that off. Okay. So that's fine, and it doesn't hang much over the back. So when the welder comes in, it can come in from either direction. It'll be fine. So if I was to follow it in, that would be all right, but we'll probably be coming in from this side. So again, we'll just go through a very careful startup procedure, which is dampness off, start up, lift off, sink to ship, and then we're able to fly. Almost went upside down. Whoops. Went across a little bit early there, I think. And shut down. Okay, there we go. I think there's still plenty of room. Okay, happy with that. Oh, this is going swimmingly. Yeah, so that's... That's good. All right. Uh, okay, I'm just I'm changing my mind with this. And I'll tell you what I'm changing it to. I'm going to change it to that. And then I'll put number four on there. I think that'll be better. All right. Uh, yeah, leave this with me, and I'll also pipe this up as well. All right. Uh, loving that uh, first aid station. Don't have to go all the way up the front. Uh, yeah, so it's been a little while and it's coming together quite nicely. Uh, I think I'm just going to sort of finish off this corner and then we'll check out to do list and then we'll call it a day because it is getting quite late for me. Uh, and then I'll call it a week, call it a month and yeah, we'll put my clone to bed and uh, that will be that. So a lot happier with that layout like that. Uh, yeah, so that works. Um, interestingly, I guess I didn't lock that down because <laughs> uh, my little friends ended up all the way down here. But um, he's locked now. <laughs> I, I didn't even realise. I came down here for something. I'm like, oh, what are you doing there? Hmm, okay. Um, the other thing is I did check. And we are in range. We are one jump away. So that's how we'll finish today, is we're going to hit the jump button, we're going to go to the orbital station, and that's where we'll start next time. Which, for me, could be quite some time away. Okay, so yeah, this this is a nice space up here. I think, you know, like I'll put the cursor or something up here. Um, liking those there. And yeah, it's, it's good. You know, flexible space, but things have got a home. Uh, again, next time we'll put an airlock in here. So I want an airlock between here and here because the bulkhead doors you'll only use if you depressurize, you know. So we'll have an airlock around here. And that airlock will also go down here. Uh, so there'll be an airlock to the external there, an airlock to the external there. Uh, and oh, maybe. Yeah, anyway. And, and I'm probably going to put the eye on the ion tug down here and another 
another first aid thing so this will be my ground access so it's an external access an external so I should say an external access to get in and also an external access to get stuff like power and things and the tug will live here because when it's on the ground the tug will not go anywhere so that this will be a good spot for it because yeah, it's eye on so it won't be on the ground and yeah it'll be ground access as well so you know sort of set of stairs or something that, that we can get down on the ground um quite liking these even under here you know they look quite good sort of up like that uh yeah i wanted to do this on the behemoth actually um but that's yeah you'll find out a bit or oh, well have already found about that i've made a bit of a decision about that which i haven't talked about on camera yet but um you'll know already if you watch that uh so yeah so here's the pipe work uh came through here that was really there uh, I snuck it around the back here, so yeah, it just sort of goes down through here behind those, so I think that works quite well. So yeah, a little bit of um, little bit of effort to put everything in, but you know, I think today we've just gone leaps and bounds, and yeah, I mean, I've also been manufacturing stuff just on the quiet, so yeah, I thought we're making that. What are we missing there? I was grabbing the stuff for that first those are the 20 20 gravity components for another jump drive so mm, so we have to do a little bit of a habitation area in order to get this stuff out of the way so we can put the other jump drive in but we could probably do that after we come back from the planet jump drive number four i don't think we need to worry about it too much um yeah so okay let's just quickly try and finish this off i did have some thoughts which were I think just steel <laughs> I think that's what my thoughts were uh, yeah I haven't really got too much further than that oh laggy laggy something's spawned in uh, yeah I okay, guess so that's let's just get it back to that colour there and yeah I think I was going to go like that oh I said I didn't want that flavor on there yeah I still need to figure out how this is all sort of working um, I'm not 100% not sure about that but we'll just get this closed in I'm not going to close it on that side that can wait till next time and that if we go like this and that's now one thing because I think I'll put that here like that so on this side yeah because then in here we can do the old trick of actually have hmm, don't have cargo access out there we might need to put in some extra connectors to sort that out we'll let future Wellington worry about that I'm sure he'll realize and say why didn't you do it when you realized okay, so that's like that I mean I could have put those there and then that would have been but yeah so I'm gonna put those up there like that I think that'll just create a nice space in here. So we'll put them up to 15 meters because that's just a good distance. Put that up, take them off there. Good. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's, that's good. So I will put some lighting up in there of some description well future Wellington can but yeah okay so that's a nice space in here now 
Uh, all I need to do is put a first aid thing up, which will be... One of these. I think I want it there rather than in the middle. No, I'm not in the middle. Let's soon see. Probably change my mind and put it back. No, it's good there. It's good. And I tell you what, what we'll do is. Yeah, I have a plan. What have I got in my. Oh, I've probably got the stuff that I need actually. But never mind. Okay, let's just go like that. Neon, 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 neon. So that can go like that. And we want the one with the power thing on it. Really? <laughs> okay. And that gravity gen is all right there, but it may need to move up a block so it gets a bit hidden. Because yeah, I don't sort of not too sure about it up there, but um, but yeah, okay. So that's that's worked out quite nicely, I feel. Uh, yeah, I do just wonder whether actually I replace this with a half one might be better because I just not 100% on that edge there yep back in a minute okay that's better yeah, why didn't I do that in the first place? Ugh. Yeah, okay. Let's not question that too much. Okay, and something I just realised I forgot to do was to sort out this test and image and first aid. Very good. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, liking that. Nice little corner. This is going to be pretty cool once we actually get the... Um, the vehicles in here. I'm not, I'm not going to do a projection of them because they don't get the wheels attached. But uh, yeah, I think this will be a nice, a nice spot to sort of park them on. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's good, very good. Yeah, we'll maybe put a button panel or something over for each one. Maybe. Okay. Uh, right. Let's go have a look at the to-do list, and then we will jump to the orbital station which is where we will call it today um so i can tell you right now that i will make sure on the edit that we leave here and that's the end so next time we'll be at the station not today um what am i doing that one okay right so oh look at this okay so we can get get rid of that because that's that's all good okay so um, short term magnesium we don't need any more well we need magnesium but not gold because we've got lots of gold which is super awesome connect the upper conveyor system well I've done that uh, VTOL thrusters okay so we're gonna need to do that so next time we'll say um, planet landing prep okay which is going to be the VTOL thrusters. Um, we also need to enclose habitation, and then we'll actually put that in the medium term landing pads. Have I done that? Okay, well, we can get rid of that and put it up here. Okay, so deliver. Deliver. Fantastic. Okay, uh, we'll put that down in the medium landing pads. I think that's what I've done today. I 
think that's what I just did, so we'll, we'll say that. Um, we'll probably still do some more gyros. Um, cargo hold med bay. Done. Extend the midship. Done. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so we need... Um, Uh, so, airlock slash lower access slash tug dock. Okay, so that's all, all sort of one thing. Uh, and external per mid bay. Okay. So that, that will be useful on the planet. Uh, large hydrogen thrusters VTOL. Uh, we also need to do the uh, landing gears and I'll come back to that before we go uh, enclose habitation uh, number four jump drive uh, no hang on move accommodation and then number four jump drive. Okay, so that's that's good. Why did my other computer just be? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's that's good. Yeah, I think we'll oh we'll need a maybe rear into cargo hold. Yep. Uh, finish mid ship bulkhead. Okay. Okay, so that's which will probably come in with the sort of um, doing the airlock anyway. Um, yeah, so that's that's good. So this is not far off. It would have been good to get it airtight today, but it just hasn't happened. Um, yeah, I mean, I could always just throw up a, a steel wall if need be, but it would be good if I can just figure out what's going where and do some stuff. Um, but yeah, it's becoming a real nice space in here. In hindsight, it's a wonderful thing. Um, I'm not doing it, but it would have been quite good if these were all pushed back. Um, back a block. Have a bit more room to walk down through here. Um, how hard would it be? <laughs> too hard, too hard. Not doing it, not doing it. Yeah, hindsight, hindsight, because um, yeah, we, we have basically got spare. So, what I'll probably do is probably put some of these beams up here, and yeah, once I figure out what I'm sort of doing up the top, um, yeah, we can we can potentially potentially do something there, because that all depends on the sort of yeah. There's there's a whole lot of things, so we'll just we'll just see. It's a big space to fill, and I don't think I'm going to fill it. Um, for the landing gears, uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to move these timers because if we go over this side, there's a nice little spot in here, I think. So if I was to open that up. And yeah, so the piston would go up in there and the landing gear would sit here. Okay, that's actually quite good. This new drawer rig will fit. And what I want to do with that is have the pistons drop down, and we'll be using the the large, the large landing pads. But we'll use another landing gear to lock the landing pad, so that it's not trying to land on the piston because I don't think it's going to work. I think that's 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 a thing. 
Okay, so uh, yeah, I closed all this side when I did the pipe work. So yeah, it's all coming together nicely. The other thing I did consider is whether I had some retractable sort of guns down the bottom, but I don't think so. And of course, we'll try and put some gyro somewhere. Right, so that is where we are going to leave it today. That's where I'm going to leave it this week, this month. Uh, because I don't think I'm going to be getting back into this for another two or at, no sorry for another three or four weeks so there will be a big bit of a pause uh, my apologies if over the last couple of uh, episodes when they've been published I've been a bit slow or not answering comments or that sort of stuff or I'm not reacting to comments the following week as I say the last three episodes what are we 16 15 and 14 have pretty much all been pre-recorded um ahead of schedule so yeah for for reasons which i won't go into well i mean i'm going away that's that's why so and uh yeah i don't know what state i'm going to be when i come back and uh whether i'm going to have time to do another one so we'll just we'll see what happens you probably know better than i do at this point <laughs> uh right but yes as i say that is where we are gonna leave it so thank you everybody for watching today i hope you did enjoy today's episode i mean this is just an absolute monster now it really is i've um yeah i've had to do some things to sort of <laughs> help with the game performance because it's been struggling a little bit um yeah but uh yeah that's um i need to get rid of that connector up on top as well and the and the purple container but that's let future one have to worry about that oh and move those interior turrets one of them Ugh, okay things to do let future ones not worry about it okay so yes i've said it once i've said it twice i'll say it again thank you everybody for watching today i hope you did enjoy today's episode and can join me again next time when we will get ready to go down the planet and then go down to the planet so until next time as always Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one.